the coast, in a sense, happens to be a little different from the rest of Kenya. The coast one, it was invaded by early settlers, you know, much earlier than the rest of Kenya. Uh, Arabs and Portuguese traders settled there much earlier. And they came in to do slave trade. And so, in a sense, uh, the experience of segregation is much older uh, there than it is in the rest of Kenya. And so, when the British set foot in the country to colonize, they didn't colonize the coast in the same meaning as they colonized the rest of Kenya, because already the coast was a protectorate that belonged to the Sultan of Zanzibar. And therefore, the Sultan and the British just did some agreement, administrative agreement, to agree on how to govern the area. But then, uh, you know, rights to land and, you know, uh, land tenure was entirely the Sultan's business as the owner of the strip. So that's what makes the coast very different uh, from the rest of the country. Because then lots of people, indigenous people, had to run away from the fear of being captured as slaves. By the time uh, independence was through and they were coming back, a lot of the lands which they owned had been appropriated by outsiders. And so, merely because of Islamic land tenure, they were allowed to settle, uh, use the land, but they didn't own it. So then, that's what explains uh, the incidence of squatters. Sort of, you live on your land, but you don't own it, and you're therefore what they call in English a tenant at will. So, you can only do temporary investments on the land the land doesn't belong to So that made the coast extremely unique in terms of injustice. People there are struggling for citizenship at a much more basic level than they are struggling for it elsewhere.